what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be headed to the junkyard i saw a couple of cars that i kind of want to check out but i'm not looking for anything specific uh, it's been a while so i don't know what the inventory is looking like and i want to say red is meeting me over there so we're just going to roam around the junkyard for fun today because um i had something planned that didn't fall through so i'm fulfilling my day here in the junkyard we'll see you guys there Well, you look at this. I saw this coming in. Dude, straight body. Clean interior, dude. The back <laughs> folds down. Super clean in here. Looks like somebody was already sleeping in here. Got a blanket and a pillow. Yo. Sucks to see it in here, Fred. Two thousand dollar for this Integra, and uh, I saw that it was kind of damaged too. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. There's no way they're gonna get two K for this. I gave him three hundred bucks. Oh, terrible. You know what's funny? After being in Vegas and driving the Mini Coopers, I've been looking at Mini Coopers. <laughs> Look at this right here. Only two thousand dollars. The crazy thing is, um, the Mini Cooper that Jeremy let me use, I pumped full tank in that car, drove 320 miles, and still had quarter tank of gas. Wow, that's pretty good. This one's also a Type S. <laughs> this is a stick shift too, dude. Yo. These are in pretty good condition. What do you think, Fred? New build for the channel? There you go. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's freaking awesome maybe two thousand dollars i'm pretty sure they'll negotiate the price it's stick shift really clean interior i don't know i don't know about this i don't know about the yellow though <laughs> man yeah dude this is like old inventory because everything is like thrashed and trashed k series k series ek sedan this is a Camry. Don't even recognize it. I've been seeing a lot more of these cars in the yard too. I went to Vegas, a couple J-Series cars out there. I know a lot of you guys want to see me do a J-Series build. But you guys know California's man. You got an engine sticking out of the hood. We're asking for trouble. So don't really want to build a J-Series because of that. Unless it's an off-road use only vehicle. Because this junkyard, I mean our junkyard, has so many J series, it's crazy. XB, little square head. Hey, Fred, it's your Accord. If you found wheels for your Accord here in the junkyard, would you rock them? No. Yeah, because Fred doesn't want his car to have attention for anybody to uh, have a reason to jack your car, right? Right. Right. So, stock is best. OE is best, and I and I completely feel you on that. A lot of these cars didn't even have freaking front ends, dude. Hmm. My brother's looking for something with a G35 for his G35. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, he's looking for the seat switches. Uh, uh, his car is tan. That's black. I mean, he ain't paying me to pull apart, so I, I'm not even going to try looking for it. We're right here. You need headlights, right? Yeah. I mean, just gotta glue it back together. Be all right. No, I saw one. <laughs> it had a really nice one. So we're looking for OE Accord headlights. Maybe. Okay, keep an eye out for that. Thrash, dude. All the Civics here are thrashed. Even the, the Integras. I, so. I, I thought they was going to have a sale for Veterans Day, but I guess they didn't. While I was gone, Fred scored a K24A2, yeah? Yeah. How much you pay with, with core, tax and all? Out the door, 305. 305. I mean, they kind of went up, but at the end of the day, 300 bucks for a K24A2. Who's really complaining? K24A4. Mm. <laughs> what is uh, this This LS right here from uh, Street Fighter? You know where you beat it up? There's an LS4 in it. I don't know nothing about Lexus. Yeah, LS400. 
I wanted an LS400 a long time ago, and then I wanted a GS300, and then I just couldn't commit to selling my car to go VIP, so I didn't. Need some headlights? See, these have been clear coated before. So this is what I'm talking about. Over time, or if it's not properly prepped or not UV protected, they start peeling just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only thing about clear coat. Well, I saw a set. It looked very clean, but they only had one side. The other side was damaged. Mm, but it's an OE though, because normally when they're super clean for a car like that, it's probably depot. Look at this. What is this? A prelude? This is a prelude. Ugh, I kind of want that. <laughs> okay, I ain't got no fingernails. <laughs> oh, look at this. Y'all already know. Battery tie down. You've never had a seam cam? Didn't you see her towing the seam cam? No, it came with the LS in it. Oh, it already came with an LS in it. That's why I bought it. Damn, I should put a case swap in it. I'm just saying. Thought about it. This guy is a big fan of Ronald McDonald. Look at that. Ketchup and mustard. Look at that, Fred. A little blue TSX right there. Oh man, but look at this one. Yeah, we're gonna check it out, no doubt. Man, it's nice to see these cars, but not in the junkyard. <laughs> not, not in the junkyard. Y'all already know, this motor probably came out the first day it dropped. Oh, the interior is pretty clean. Dude, the body is clean. Damn, for those that have these cars and need body panels, look how clean it is, Fred. Yeah. Dude, this is a bummer. Better wasn't my Dude, even the quarters and everything is clean on here. Five speed Civic Wagon. Hey, was that first one up in the front manual? You didn't see it? This one's a five-speed or manual trans, and so is that CVCC over there, too. That's a bummer. Look at the paint on this thing. Dude, the interior. I need a room. This is so unfortunate. Look how clean this is. Look how clean that is. A hundred and ninety-two thousand, Fred. That sucks. Wow. All I see are Honda Accords and Camrys, dude. Camry, Accord, Accord, Camry, Accord, Civic. We're literally at the end of the road. CB7, CB, Accord. A lot of, of G35, surprisingly. What is this, a Rolla? GS, another GS. I don't know what that is. That's a Camry, Maxima, Accord, Prelude. Oh, look, it's a DA. All torn apart, though. Pinche Enrique was out here just recently. And that's why I thought the wagon was here, because his story was like back to back. But the wagon that I'm looking for is in Newark. There's so freaking many PT cruisers out here. When they first come out, came out, I thought they were kind of cool. You, you thought they were kind of cool? I did. I'm getting this one mixed up with the other one with the snub nose front end where you see the suspension out in the front. I don't know what you call that. I'll put a little picture though. 
You know what? I've never seen a PT Cruiser up close before. Kind of curious. Oh, wow. Hey, Fred, this thing looks spacious, dude. Kick my leg up. Ah. Wow. I took one for a test drive. Did you? Mm -hmm. How'd you like it? Interesting. Hmm. Not bad. But not you know what? You know what I noticed about it though? The seat sits like a Civic wagon. It's tall, mm. so you're almost 90 degrees on the the knees. Mm. Can I lean back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't even notice the freaking red, the red uh, paneling. That's cool. What do you guys think? Mini Cooper, PT Cruiser. Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> I can tell you that because the one that Jeremy let me drive, ha, that thing was fun. You guys see this orange mark on the floor? That means new car. Hey, look at this, this is car from uh, Toy Story. <laughs> uh, but look, orange mark on the floor, CRV. And there's no freaking table. Missing the freaking legs. Like, who steals the legs? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who needs legs. Uh, anyway, so another thing that I was looking for was Honda Odyssey, right? J series. And I'm looking for a power steering hose for my mom's van because a brand new one is 140 bucks. 140 bucks. And this one looks freaking new. Granted, the rest of the car got some new stuff on it as well, too. So look, these are brand new. Um, somebody pulled the trans out of it, but the work is kind of cut out for me if I want to take it. The problem is subframe is on the floor and it is connected to the power steering rack. So it's kind of bent right there. Not like badly bent, but it's bent right there. I don't know if this sensor comes off. It looks like it does. But this thing looks new, so I'm kind of, kind of fighting myself to either pay for this, which is like probably what 15 bucks, or spend a hundred and forty dollar plus tax for a brand new one. I guess I'm just gonna pull it off real quick and look at it and see how bad it really is. On my mom's, it's deteriorate right here, and it's just leaking fluid all the time, right there. So, ten mils. Pop this off real quick. So with the help of Fred, um, power steering line is out and this is definitely off the market. It is like brand spanking used. And then the bracketry is non-OE all the way down to the bottom here is really nice and clean. I noticed that this does not have any oil on it whatsoever. So I know it's not deteriorated or cracked. I did take off the sensor. They're probably gonna charge me like a hundred bucks for that. So um, I'm gonna take this line with me. Hopefully it's not 140 bucks like it is at O'Reilly's. You get offered a place to stay and a car to drive? Are you gonna pass it up? No. No, exactly. That's why I was in Vegas for four freaking weeks. <laughs> and I'm going back. What had happened was I came home after grabbing some lunch with Fred and I passed out. But Odyssey is right here. This hose right here, you can see it is very damped. And once the car is on, it is leaking from literally this entire hose. It's so brittle, it's cracked, and the fluid just comes right out of it. And I would have to fill up the power steering fluid every so often, depending on how much this van gets driven. So, simply enough, there's two bolts there. There's a bracket bolt. Uh, I don't know, you can see it right here. And then on the subframe, there's one bolt, there's a plug for a sensor, and then the end that goes to the power steering rack itself, which is this. I'm gonna go ahead and just get that done. That was a little complicated, but nonetheless, we got the power steering line out of the car. It was kind of hard to snake this back end off the subframe because of how it mounted and stuff. I didn't even know there was a second bracket. When we pulled this one out of the junkyard, there was only one. When I removed the second bracket, I was able to remove the power steering line out of the engine bay. Now, my mistake was I yanked the whole entire thing out. So some of this area kind of got bent straight. And because this one was bent from the one in the junkyard, from somebody removing the transmission, this also uh, hyperextended. So it was kind of hard to figure out how this was bent 
for me to snake it back in in hopes of this lining back up at the power steering um, on the rack itself but nonetheless we got it removed this wasn't even connected when i pulled it out of the car the harness is literally just chilling against the firewall and this plug was on the sensor So I just drove the Odyssey around, it feels really good. I also welded up the exhaust a little bit more because it is leaking pretty bad and you can hear the exhaust escaping through that little hole. The car catalytic converter was stolen so there's like a little test pipe on it that I put on to replace it and it's finally quiet. KRX is back on the driveway and we are going to be wrapping it up in this video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the little blemish on the screen is now gone. I was Vegas years old when I found out that the Hero has a detachable lens. And I was able to buy a new one, which is also uv protected so it has a new lens on it to help the clarity of the videos i'm sorry i didn't know this sooner to give you guys a much clearer shot with these vlogs but it's changed now and it's looking a lot better now this was sent to the po box uh the other day and it is a compound to remove concrete oil stain and it says literally pour on let dry and brush away now i was going to clean the driveway right now but granted that is just a pour on let dry ordeal i kind of tested a little spot i will check up on it tomorrow i tried it right there i can already see the oil lifting so what i want to do is i'm gonna try that little spot which it literally says in the back of the bottle it says pour a quarter size drop on the test area let it dry it may take a couple of hours or longer depending on temperature and humidity it will look like white chalk when it is completely dry and then just alligate uh, thoroughly with a stiff brush to clean it off if satisfied expand process to the entire area so i tried that little spot right there on the floor if it looks good tomorrow maybe i'll I'll dab the whole entire driveway and clean that free of oil. I don't think that bottle is going to cover the whole driveway, but at least most of it, I'll be satisfied. We were on the junkyard to fulfill our day with a job that didn't come through. And it's sad to see a couple of gems in there sitting, resting on its final grave. We were able to score a power steering hose from my mom's car. I've neglected on doing that for a little while. Fortunate for me, that hose was brand new and it does not show any signs of leaks. So that is one less leak on that car to fix. I think the next thing I want to do are the motor mounts because the engine rocks a good amount when you, um, when you accelerate so probably next on the list for the odyssey but um we roamed the junkyard we saw the inventory nothing new i mean newer cars but nothing new for us to pick on but i'm definitely going to try to hit the other junkyard to see if the wagon is still there because i mentioned in the other video where my brother's car has been smacked and i kind of looked at the frame it is a little tweaked on the radio support so i want to get to that wagon to pull off a section of the support for when time comes to fix that car i say it like that because the insurance still has to check it out so i want to make sure i have all the parts ready for once that is all situated We'll bring it on board and repair it. This is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the junkyard run. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys want to stick around and see more junkyard videos and more work here on the driveway, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.